Well, today we are joined by a longtime industry veteran. His name is Sam, and you know all those first-person games you've been playing? Turns out that's been his handiwork. Sam, tell us a little bit about what you do. Why does a facial motion capture look so bad? In the Corridor Crew video, Sam talks about how he uses an iPhone 10 to capture his facial motion. The reason why he's using an iPhone 10 or above is because that's the only phones that actually have a 3D sensor on the front that can actually measure depth. So I'm actually gonna load up one of the apps and I'm actually gonna show you what it does. So this is the FaceCap app. I mean, it captures wonderful data. I mean, you know, you're looking around, you can see, ha ha, ooh, meow. See, it's quite good. It's a very good app and you can capture facial, but why does it look so bad? So now we've jumped over into Blender and let me show you the differences. At the moment, we can see that this face here or this body, it's got a lot. I think there's maybe 56 shape keys. Over here, there's only 32. So already there's a big difference in the amount of shape keys. One instance is if I were to go cheek blow. So let's come down into the cheeks. Cheek blow left and right. And we come over onto the other face and we go cheek puff. We can already see there's no cheek left or cheek right. There's only cheek puff. And if we come in to have a look even further, we can see that the actual cheekbones come out more on this face, where on this face, it's just more of a puff. And these subtle differences combined will give some really undesired results. So that's why the facial motion capture data needs to match the actual character model. Another prime example is if we select the facial motion capture data that we captured just before, and I were to increase the mouth close, we can see that we get this really weird result here. However, if you come into this face, there is no mouth close. It's like slinky like the bull. And this all just adds to that issue. So if I now use the full Reillusion suite to capture my face using their facial motion capture application, I can directly get that data and import it to the character and it'll look fantastic. So let me have a quick show. So here we are using Reillusion's iClone 7. Now this character is from their Reillusion Suite Character Creator 3, and we've brought it over into iClone 7. Currently I'm using Motion Live and using the Live Face app. Let me just quickly turn it on, we'll click Preview and press the space bar, and you can see now that the face looks quite good. However, we need to recenter it a little bit, so I wanna come up to the top here and set zero pose and give myself a little bit of a numpty face. There we go, look. So that's looking pretty good now. I'm fairly happy with how that's working. Um, but yeah, so we can see that this is a really good way of doing facial motion capture is having the shape keys align to the actual character. So once again, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps me out and keeps up to date with my content. Cheese. <laughs>